Welcome back, Rudy Yuff on this one today. All right, so Dominar and Master. So uh, first distributors started handing out some allocation information and uh, pricing and all that. And of course, as with everything Wizards of the Coast, prices are always, always going up. But that's not really what we're focused on today. Um, the Dominaria Remastered Collector Boxes appear to actually be... In, and I know, you can... You can you, oh, Rudy's gonna pop it! Uh, appears to be pretty uh, limited. And I'm gonna use that very loosely. I don't really consider it limited as in rare. I don't think it's gonna be tough to get. But to my surprise, uh, for example, I requested 2,000 boxes of Dominaria Remastered. And I was allocated like 360. And I was like, wow, that's quite interesting. So, I don't know if they are going to intentionally tighten some of these supplies on these collector products. Or they're just manipulating the supply and Wizards is just going to say, well, just give them a chunk of it and then let's all sit back. And let's wait 90 days and we'll release more waves and pull like a Kamigawa collectors. I'm not really sure. Whenever we get to these specialty products that are non-standard releases, the collector boxes get a little more wishy-washy. Um, you have examples with the Commander Legends 1, um, was a very interesting one, and Modern Horizons 2. These particular collector boxes um, were very difficult to get from release, and then after release, forget it. They're just, you know, they truly were kind of, I don't want to say scarce, but they truly were properly printed without overdoing it. How about that? So, Dominar Remastered, I know a lot of people keep asking me, Rudy, is this like Time Spiral Remastered? Is it going to be like a one thing? And after the, the original one-time release, it's all going to Papa Bezos, Penis, Look, I, I don't, I can tell you in my opinion, there is no way the print run is going to be low like Time Spiral Remastered. There's no way. There's no way. The, the leaders and the lab coat scholars, the PhD smartest people at the cocktail party, are not going to underprint or leave any money on the table. They've made that very, very clear. So, I believe Dominar Remastered, um, the collector boxes are the, are the risky one because we it's looking pretty tight. But the draft boxes appear to be exactly where they should be. Where most stores, I've been told, are getting, you know, they requested 60 boxes, they're getting 60 boxes. Another store told me, Rudy, I requested 90. I'm getting 90. You know, and another store said, well, I've only requested 30 because I don't trust them. And then they give me all 30. So, it seems to be pretty filled. Doesn't seem to be overprinted to oblivion. But then again, I'm not really sure because historically, these remastered sets using Time Trial Remastered, um, there really wasn't any extra supply after the original release. Now, whether that was intentional, I think it was. Again, Wizards president, that woman is, you know, from e-commerce and technological Amazon, this and that. So everything she sees is, you know, we need to pump as much product through Amazon as we can. That's all she cares about. And that leads me to believe that they're going to release an amount of product for Dominar Remastered that they feel will match the original supply at release. So on day one moving forward does not appear that it's going to be overprinted or have a ton of excess supply. Now, does that mean Rudy's going to pump you and your stepsister and the price is going to go up? No, I, I, don't, I don't think, again, we are not in an environment where I'm going to get on camera and say this is a great product, which it is actually, but it's not, I'm not going to tell you, you need to go out and buy as much as you can because it's going to spike. I don't think that's the case. I do not expect any magic products to skyrocket or double or anything like that. Now, the actual Dominar Remastered Collector boxes, they're sitting at like, what, 280 to 300 plus tax? Let's just say even 300 and let's say tax is included. You know, that is, it feels high, but I don't remember what Modern Horizons 2, and I don't remember... Commander Legends 1 Collectors. I don't... I can't remember if that was deemed high or low at the time. But I do know if everybody does get tightly allocated on these collector boxes, the price will probably hold plus or minus 10, 15%. So in other words, we could drop to 250, 260, or it could hold to that 300 range if nobody has very much, and then people have to cancel orders, or there's no excess supply to be sold online or whatever it is after stores fill their local orders. That's a very real possibility for the collector boxes. Now, we don't really know specifically how that's going to unfold. We can't use any past data. We Because Time Trial Remastered doesn't mean anything. That was only just a draft box. And that was 2020 before, you know, the cocktail parties and everything happened. And we don't... So we, we have no ability to backtest Dominar Remastered. I mean, the last specialty set 
was Double Masters 2 and, of course, Boulder's Gate. None of which really apply to this situation. So we really don't have a, a confident way to approach this and really crack and figure it out. All we do know is the product looks good. I mean, we've, everyone's been saying that. There's not a single person right now saying Dominar Remastered looks like it's going to just tank and be Boulder's Gate 2.0. Like, no one's saying that. Like, the amount of people contacting me, the amount of patrons, I'm watching the messages, I'm looking at comments, looking at the other YouTube channels, and everybody is saying the same thing, which is, it actually looks like a fun set, but I fucking hate Wizards. I don't even want to buy it. I'll wait for it to go on Amazon dump. But the product does look good. Like, you have that conflicting emotion right now, where you actually see something that's well-designed, beautiful cards, the old retro stuff on some of the things like the Force of Will and certain I mean, they're, they're really cool. It's got a lot of staples in it. It's a lot of things people actually want between rares, the Mythics, and the Tudor Cycle. You've got your bulk, typical jank stuff mixed in to counterbalance the uh, teeter-totter, but it looks like a decent magic set. You know, it's similar to Jumpstart 2022. Myself and many other people were like, I'm waiting for release. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to not going to pre-order Jumpstart. And I didn't. Now, finally took delivery of about a thousand boxes of Jumpstart 2022. I'm going to run a special to the patrons, actually this Friday, before Christmas. And we're going to sell them for, I don't know, maybe around $100 a box shipped or something. And I mean, I'll probably end up selling by the case or something because holidays and shipping, it's just, the shipping costs are getting outrageous, man. They keep, like, everyone keeps talking about inflation's peaked and it's declining and I've said the same thing. But man, shipping and postal rates are just outrageous, dude. But anyway, you know, I don't know if a lot of people are going to do the same thing with Dominaria. Are they going to do what we do with Jumpstart? Which is, you know, we want to, we want the product to prove itself. And then people are going to go back wanting Dominari Remastered after release. Kind of like the Jumpstart situation. See, I'm not sure. And that is a possibility. But the thing is, by the time we know how successful Dominari Remastered is, you're not going to be able to go back and get the collector boxes from distribution or the original pricing. And there is a chance that if everybody is tightly allocated on these collector boxes, the price actually just holds. I'm not going to say it skyrockets. But it doesn't collapse. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't pull a boulder's gate. So um, I do plan on doing some box openings on the channel and doing a patron sign-up sheet and everything like that. A lot of people keep asking me to bring back box openings. I didn't think a lot of you all really cared about the, the box openings on this channel. But the two main comments I get is, Rudy, will you please do box openings? Um, you open packs the quickest. And it, I can't sit through some other people who spend an hour opening a box. And it's just boring as hell. But I want to see the cards. And... Will you please go back to doing more box openings? Uh, again, the original design of this channel for many years was, you know, on a seven-day rolling calendar. In that seven days, I would try to have like five or six normal discussions on all the news topics and different CCGs. And then we would add on top a box opening in between. So it's not like we reduced the regular videos and add box openings. I would, I always, I, for the last couple of years, I tried to keep the news cycle the same but then just at, at make additional videos for box openings. I didn't really like the idea of replacing news videos. So that, I just that, that's my comment. I remain generally acceptedly excited. Is that, that's a terrible phrase in English. I can't speak English. Unless it's numbers, I suck. I'm generally just really looking forward to Dominar Remastered. The draft and the collectors. Um, it does appear that collectors are being tightly allocated. Now, what that means for the market, and is the price going to hold? Is it going to actually go up, which nothing goes up anymore? I have no idea, but I did want people to be aware that uh, multiple stores, I've kind of, we've texted and gone back and forth. Everybody has confirmed that most people seem to be getting between 20 and 35% of the allocation they requested. Um, so I, I don't, I'm not sure the rationale or if Wizards is just holding back because they don't want, they're so tired of their products collapsing and maybe they're going to kind of throttle it. I, I don't know. Or is it a Modern Horizons 2 situation or, you know, where they, Literally, after the initial release of collector boxes, you just couldn't get them. And they just went straight up to five, 600 and that was it. Which is a possibility. So, that's all I have for today. Um, I'm just really excited about Domino Remaster to move on from the Magic 30 stuff. There's not much Magic 30 news. Everything seems to be pretty leveled out. I'll make another Magic 30 video here pretty soon. Um, really very calm. Very boring on Magic 30. Boy, it really just died off really quick. And I got another video coming on that. I don't know if it's already live. It'll be live after this video. I'm not sure yet. But um, that's all I have to say today. Um, I'll report back with everybody in the, um, after uh, Christmas and the holiday weekend. Let everybody know about kind of the, the response and how the jumpstart, kind of the data and all that product flows through. I'll let you guys know, if, even if you're not a patron, if you're curious, I'll report back on how jumpstart the sales are and everything. And um, yeah, it's quite interesting, isn't it? That's all I got. Have a beautiful day.